Gosh, I think there's something really interesting about board games. What's happening here on the table as we play, mm -hmm. but there's uh, always something happening kind of up here in this other space. And I think board games facilitate bringing people together in a way that sometimes other mediums don't. I'm James Hudson, and this is Starting Roll, where we bring creators and players from tabletop gaming and across entertainment to hear their stories about how board games influence their past, present, and future. My story started with World of Warcraft, where I was spending hundreds of hours to the point that I even dropped out of college. I had a friend who invited me to board game night, and the rest, as they say, was history. Board games can change your life, just like they did mine, and we're gonna discover the many stories that prove it. Hey y'all, I am here with our first guest, Rodney Smith of Watch It Played. Hey James. Rodney, what is Watch It Played? Well, Watch It Played is a channel where I take the rules from board games and I turn them into a video. So you don't have to read the rule book. And you also brought one of your favorite games with you. I did. My most favorite game, Mansions of Madness, second edition. Mm. All right, well let's head to the table and let's dig in. All right, let's do it. So we want to talk to you about board games and why board games are important. I like this, I like this topic a lot. Because I think they are important. <laughs> I found your channel when you were playing, the, doing the, the playthroughs with your yes. daughter. You were uh, down in your basement, green screen, it was like the one little uh, color behind you. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that takes me back. Uh, it was a pretty amateur operation. It still is, really. I mean, it was something I was doing as a passion project. I sure. loved board games. I wanted to do something to help share the hobby. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're Rodney the Watch It Played guy now, right? But what did you what did you even do before that? <laughs> well, I was I was a finance officer with Health Canada. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> very boring. It was, it was a very... <laughs> <laughs> different kind of job than what sure. I'm doing now. But even in that job, I would try to find ways to teach things there. And I would just make videos about that to try to make this dry material something more interesting. Right. And I guess in a way, that kind of bled into what I'm doing now. So yeah, and like we were talking about earlier, this is this is the game that you, I don't know if you launched your channel with it, but it was definitely one of the bigger videos that people were following. And you did a very good job early on. You would reach out to your audience and ask them to make moves in the games that you were playing and things like that to try to involve everybody. I will tell you, there, there was something about the channel initially that was quite selfish. And so I wanted to see if I could connect to the bigger gaming community through the YouTube channel. So I invited the audience to play with me. Right. Not just watch me play. And my, my daughter joined me as well. Mm -hmm. So we really did this together. And so we would control a couple of the characters and then the audience was controlling a couple of them as well. I'll tell you a little bit about the game if you're if you're interested here. Like effectively, we are we are characters who are investigators. Mm -hmm. There is a mystery afoot. Where it's back in the 1920s, is set in like a Lovecraftian world. So here we are in in the entryway of of this mansion that we've we've come into. And the thing that's sort of wonderful about this game, if people have played other kinds of games before, you might be used to. I have to get a certain number of victory points, or I have to be the first one to get to the end of the track, or something, right? In this game, you don't know what the objective is. I don't know what we're really trying to do. The game will reveal that as we play. Yeah, and we're not competing against each other. We're, no, it's, we're, it's we're working together yes. to try to solve these mysteries and, and survive. The, the biggest thing that I usually fail on is rolling the dice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can't help you with that. I, I have the same problem. You roll the dice and you hope for the right result, and sometimes you don't get it. But that also can create interesting and fun outcomes. The, thing about, the other thing that's interesting about this game in particular is we have an app beside here, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And this actually manages and controls a lot of the stuff behind the scenes. Yep. So when you play this particular game, you, you're going to a mansion, but the mansion is going to be built bigger and bigger as you explore, mm -hmm. all controlled by this. And I think it's a great combination of, of, of physical components and then the app really kind of streamlining everything yeah. for you. Because I know a lot of people get into a board game, they see you know a 40 page rule book and they're like, ah, but Two this rule books, handles in it. fact. <laughs> Two rule books. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. And this does a lot of the management. And some people, they look to board gaming to get away from the screen, mm -hmm. right? And I think in some ways, that's why I think we're seeing the rise in popularity of board games. In addition to the games being better and more varied, I love my mobile device as much as the next person. Absolutely. But it's kind of nice to put that away. Sure. And I'm now interacting with a live human being and we're doing something creative together, right? I mean, that's that's how I came into the hobby because I was playing Warcraft with a bunch of friends and they were like, we we're gonna do we we're gonna do board game night. And I'm like, mm -hmm. why would you want to play Monopoly when we could raid, you right. know? Yes. It's like, well, we don't play that. Come, just come try it out. And I played Power Grid. That was my first, wow, okay. my entry yes, level game. Yeah. That's what they like to play. And I was like, wow, this this is more interesting. This is more engaging. This is so fun with the agency of the different choices that I can make. Because that's the thing that stinks about a, a Monopoly. You roll the dice, you land on the spot, you do the thing. Sure, yeah. Well, when you games, don't have a lot of choices there. Yeah, yeah, when you get agency in a game, that makes you feel like, oh, this I am making meaningful choices. Yeah. And whether they pan out well or not, it doesn't matter most of the time. 
But you had some control over it, at least, right? Yeah, I did. It wasn't I, entirely up to the die roll. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And so that's where, you know, I feel like board games offer us that, that chance to really, like you said, put our phones down and, and engage with people. Well, that's, I mean, gosh, I think there's something really interesting about board games that there's what's happening here on the table as we play, mm -hmm. but there's uh, always something happening kind of up here in this other space, mm -hmm. which is eventually we are going to start talking about something or sharing something. And I think board games facilitate bringing people together in a way that sometimes other mediums don't. If they're watching at home, I've never played sure. a board game. Obviously, these are going to be fun, but yeah. where do I start? What? Why is it important to me? There's definitely the, the, the aspect of getting together with people you care about and doing a shared activity together. Yeah. That's certainly something. But I think there's also something in board games and that kind of goes beyond all of that, which is it's an equalizer kind of in general. For a little while, a group of people agree to sit down together mm -hmm. and abide by the exact same rules. Yep. Like, yep. where in life does that happen? The things that I take away from board games are rarely, well, I rolled a six, cool. You know, it's, right. it's the experience, it's the relationships. I, I know more people now in my life. Remember what I said earlier, I started that channel somewhat selfishly, at least in part, because I wanted to connect to the larger game. He just wanted much free games. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> extra games wasn't a bad thing either. But it was really the relationships, that's what I remember. One of the things with my kids when we play games, we play games three, four nights a week, Yeah, you know. It, they have your, mommy and daddy are always busy. Mm -hmm. We're always doing something, we're always on our phone, we're right. always working about the next day. They get our full attention when we're playing a board game because you can't be doing all those other things and, and concentrating. And I've noticed that, especially with my daughter, like the, that's, she's a quality time person. Right. Yes. And so yeah. she loves to say, hey, let's play a board game because she knows for that hour she's got me right there, or 30 minutes or whatever we're playing. That's kind of a, yeah, it is a kind of a magical thing, right? It's like something that will be remembered, cherished by her as a memory. Her dad mm -hmm. took no time to do this thing that she also had an interest in, Yep. right? Yeah. And that was also able to engage your interest, which is pretty cool. Well, Rodney, thank you for coming out. This has been amazing. Uh, I, I love getting to just really, why does someone love the game that they do? Like, you, you could have chose any game to highlight here, and you chose this one. Yeah, so where can they actually follow you at? Well, on, on YouTube, the channel is Watch It Played, so youtube.com slash watch it played. I'm also on Twitter, oftentimes posting about games I'm playing and sharing things. You might see something that's like, ooh, that looks interesting. And your vlog? And my vlog as well. So on Twitter, it's at watch it played, and I also have a personal vlog where I talk a little bit about my life sort of being in this hobby and having, having a, a career here. Sure. And that's over on youtube.com slash Rodney J. Smith. Rodney, thanks for joining us. It this was, was awesome. It was a pleasure. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. Yeah.